Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the single-ended input to differential output. Let us say if you have the single-ended input signal and you want to generate the differential output, how are you going to do that? So by using the operational amplifier, the inverting, inverting and non-inverting configuration of operational amplifier, how you gonna generate the differential output if you have the single ended input. So it's a very interesting if you play with the analog circuit, if you have very good fundamental knowledge in analog, you can you can play with the analog circuit by connecting different configuration of operational amplifier and you can generate whatever voltage you want to generate as per your requirement. So let us understand how you're going to design the differential output with the single ended input and later I'm going to run the simulation and I'm going to show you uh, what is the output signal and how it looks like okay so let us first look at the input side what is the input side this is the i in and uh, this is the voltage source i have here the voltage source and this voltage source is connected to the positive terminal of an op amp and the same voltage if you look at here now the same voltage is connected to the negative terminal of an op amp Okay, the same voltage is connected to your positive terminal and the same voltage is connected to the negative terminal and the R2 and R1 having the same value. Okay, the value of R1 and R2 is the same. It's a kind of the differential amplifier, but in this case, your input is tied with your both plus and the minus terminal of an operational amplifier. Okay. So now if you look at here at this point this the same I in input signal is connected to R4 and R4 goes to the minus terminal of your U2 your second operational amplifier and then it is connected to R3 and it goes to the output okay out minus so U1 gives out plus and U2 gives out minus if you look at now the plus terminal of U2 so what what you can see here is we have the voltage source we have the dc voltage source which is 5 volt if i right click on it if you clearly see here the dc voltage source which is the 5 volt and then i have the register divider the the register divider if i say r5 and 6 that means that 5 volt is now being divided by the using two register R5 and R6 and voltage at this node R6 you gonna get uh, the voltage across R6 is going to be 2.5 volt so what I'm doing here I'm fitting my 2.5 volt to the plus terminal of an open now if you think of the V4 source the voltage source uh, at in terminal so what is the v4 if i right click on here and if you look at now it is the sinusoidal signal remember it is the sinusoidal signal with the dc offset of 2.5 volt so you're gonna get the dc offset that means your signal what do you understand by the dc offset 2.5 volt if dc offset means that your signal is going to start with the 2.5 volt okay then the amplitude the amplitude is 1 volt so your signal is going to start not from the zero it is going to start with the 2.5 volt and the positive side it is going to add it with the 1 volt 1 volt so what is your maximum peak signal is going to be 3.5 volt and what is your minimum peak signal is going to be 1.5 volt so here i am generating uh, the signal which is going to start from 2.5 volt the maximum peak is going to be 3.5 volt and the minimum peak is going to be 1.5 volt and what is the frequency for this sinusoidal signal the frequency here is 250 kilohertz so the frequency is 250 kilohertz so i i'll right click on that so now you understand your v4 source is nothing 
thing but it is a sinusoidal signal with the DC offset voltage of 2.5 volt amplitude is 1 volt and the frequency is 250 kilohertz and the V2 you have the pure DC signal with the uh, with the value of 5 volt okay so that is how it that is how the circuit has been connected and uh, the voltage source has been connected and if you look at now the output so i have the out plus and i have the out minus so both are the independent output if you click if you click on out plus you're gonna get the the single ended output and if you click on the out minus you're gonna get the single single ended output so the question here is since we have the single ended input and how we gonna convert this single ended input how we gonna convert this single ended input to the differential output if i say the differential output that means it has the amplitude of both positive and negative so it has the both positive and the negative amplitude here so let me straight away go run the simulation and let me show you how how this this circuit works and let me show you the different voltage and the current waveform here so right now i'm gonna run the simulation so i'll i'll run the simulation here and then let us look at so what is your input signal so input is v in and uh, if you look at now the v in the positive it is starting from the dc offset of 2.5 volt so as i said the dc offset is 2.5 volt and it is the peak value here if you look at the peak is 3.5 volt and the lower peak is the lower side is 1.5 volt so your input signal which is given by v in is starting from dc voltage of 2.5 volt the maximum peak is 3.5 and the minimum peak is 1.5 so this is your this the the input signal if i go and tile window vertically so this is your input signal now if i click the v2 source so v2 is nothing but you have the 5 volt voltage source here this v2 is nothing but it's a 5 volt voltage source if i divide this plane so now if you look at here this your v1 is the the sinusoidal signal with the frequency of 250 kilohertz and your v2 you have 5 volt if i click on the voltage across r6 so what is the voltage across r6 is you can clearly see the voltage across now the r6 is around 2.5 volt the voltage across r6 is closer to 2.5 volt or 2.4999 volt so it's almost 2.5 volt and uh, the voltage here we already saw it is input voltage now let us look at the output voltage so what is your output voltage this is the output voltage out plus voltage so this is your out plus voltage this is out plus voltage and which is you can see is what is your input voltage if i overlap your input signal here and your output signal so if you look at now your input and output signal your input and output signal is your input and output signal is let me delete this pen so your input and output signal are overlapping each other that means you have the input signal and you have the output signal and your output signal is exact replica of your input signal with the same phase and the same amplitude okay so if i click on now the out minus signal so let's see so now i'm going to delete the input signal let us delete the input signal and let us now look at the out plus signal and out minus signal so that you will understand now what you see is what you see from your output out plus signal and out minus signal they have the exactly same amplitude they have the same amplitude but out plus signal and out minus signal they are having the 180 degree of phase shift so 180 degree phase shift you can see with your out minus signal and uh, you see here out plus signal so whenever your output signal is high your out minus signal is no so that is how if you look at your out plus, sig out, out plus signal and out minus signal looks like and now what i'm gonna show you the most important thing what i'm gonna show you here is let us see the differential output between out plus and out minus and so now if you look at the differential output between out plus and out minus very interesting to see guys let me zoom it what you can see here is what you can see here 
the your positive amplitude now become 2 volt and your negative amplitude now become minus 2 volt so what was your input signal let me draw now so your input signal was the single ended signal if i say the single ended signal what do you mean by if i say the single ended signal means you don't have any signal which is going below 0 volt so you have the single ended signal you have the positive signal above the 0 volt but if i take the differential output the output between out plus and out minus wherein I see I can get I'm getting the differential output if I say the differential output now what do you understand with this this differential output this means you have the positive amplitude which is 2 volt and you have the negative amplitude which is which clearly you can see it is minus 2 volt and that is how you generate both positive and negative signal okay both positive and negative signal that is how you can generate if you have single ended signal you can generate the differential signal for your application with the help of simple to operational amplifier it's nothing but i have used two simple operational amplifier i have given the offset safety here and now i'm getting the voltage differential voltage which is coming out from out plus port and out minus port so hope guys you have understood how you're gonna design the differential output from single ended input if you have any further question on it feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video